Namaste, my name is Adita Dikari. I am currently studying at grade, in grade 12 at St. Javier's College. Space, it is huge and it is ever expanding. Simply put, it is the zone above and beyond our planet. Despite the space lacking the air to breathe or light to scatter, in today's world, we heavily rely on space for our everyday course. But with the current trains and mismanagement, sustainability of space is of serious concern. So much so that the World Space Week 2022 has the same topic as its slogan. However, when advocating for space sustainability, we primarily emphasize upon the area surrounding the Earth. It might sound like an irony when humans who cannot sustain their own planets are discussing about sustaining the space. Howsoever, many modern facilities that we cherish now, TV, distant communications, weather forecasting, disaster mitigation and management, are all connected to space sustainability in one way or the other. Thus, sustaining space also directly corresponds with the advancements of mankind. Space sustainability is about ensuring all the humankind for the continued use of outer space, for social purposes, economic purposes, and for peaceful purposes, for now and in the future also. The orbits around the Earth are dominantly occupied by space debris and satellites. Flying through space at around 7,000 miles per hour, such junk are posing great operational risks on the operational satellites, space missions, and invites collision with the such debris. Likewise, more than 5,000 satellites are on, the space, are on the space in the Earth orbit. However, only 15, 1950 of them are actually operational. Yearly, many new satellites are sent in the space. However, without proper coordination between the government agencies and research institutions, the efficiency remains questionable. Using satellites for military purpose also fuels the tension between the countries. Such continued disrupting uh, uh, such continued uncoordinated uh, actions raises a question to the availability of this freely available natural resources in the future times in order to tackle these problems the intergovernmental space agencies should work collaboratively and make effective data sharing as well as resource sharing criteria should be set for deploying certain number of satellites into the space without deploy without exploiting the actual space provider over there. For example, the TV channels can be made to use the same satellite for broadcasting multiple channels at least in the same coverage area. Another contributor towards space pollution is the one-time use of space shuttles. So reusable rockets like the ones that have been developed by the SpaceX could be one solution to space sustainability. In making new satellites, the deorbiting designs with focus on Repairability should be prioritized. With the future actions outlined, we must work towards mitigating the existing debris as well. Dead satellites, which don't serve a purpose or impose a risk on the fundamental functional satellites, should be cleared off from the orbits. Astroscales is such a company which is doing the same job, and such private companies should be emphasized. And the nearly dying satellites should be sent to a higher orbit to minimize the density in lower orbits. Finally, I believe collaborative resource sharing between agencies and stakeholders to ensure the efficient use of satellites is a must to realize the vision of space and sustainability alongside the debris should also be managed properly. Thank you.